He always respects his opponents. And to end it off in the first phase is actually gonna be the Cho. BTK picking up the Cho. And yes, this like you called it, Wolf, as well as the Farsa living artillery. Drop or maybe somewhere along the list of a Fanny. Or maybe a uh, long range in here. We look over the block this day, man. Oh, Balmond here. Let's dig deep here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're seeing the Lilita coming out of Shark once again with a 66.7%. Blacklist, they're comfort picks. I have never seen oh, this where Fly Chicken is already in a bit of a trouble here. I mean, he knows what he has to do. He's got to absorb that pressure. And Oheb, he really needs that level one to work out for him. I want to say for Blacklist International, this Estes and Harit combo, this has been so successful. If Estes alone is 100% uh, you know, a win rate, I'm pretty sure that sometimes it, uh, Blacklist International already lost with the uh, Estes, but Estes plus the Harit, that is such a scary combination. Very, very scary combination. The thing is for BTK, they want to isolate their targets, but you're going up against Blacklist International. This is a team that knows how to force their game onto you, their style. It's so hard to get out of that Blacklist code, but let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm already seeing that Moba Zane is getting attacked here, Fried Chicken, as well as Shark sticking nearby. Good thing that Fried Chicken does have Renner out. He triple sweep, triple sweep. No, he's... Oh, he actually does! But Oh My Venus manages to purify it out in time. Oh! Shark looking for the kill. He finds it. Oh, Ham wants the punish, but there's only so little that he can do. A great start, a first blood by Razor coming in from BTK. Holy moly, I just mentioned it, man. BTK, they want to isolate their targets, and somehow, some way, they were able to do it. That was insane, Wolf. Yeah, bottom lane, you already see the trailer from Blacklist International. Surely, BTK was able to get a kill up top, but that they spent so much time and so many resources up top. Blacklist International just thought, okay, let's trade bottom lane. So much outer dirt and his shields gold going in favor of Blacklist International. Almost taking it all, uh, all of it. Almost taking all of it, I mean. Yeah, no. Honestly, I really like what a BTK is doing here. But so far, let's see how this plays out for this turtle fight. Feathered Airstrike already getting on top of Zia here. You forcing the Black Ooh. Shoes immediately. We're all saying the triple sweep to take out. Oh my Venus. As it Wait. continues by double kill coming in from Moba Zeta. Edward oh, will trade for one, but it's a little too late. Wide chicken is going to stay on top of Shark doing God's work, locking down the right heroes. Man, oh man, are we seeing magic miracles happen here at the first game? You, I mentioned it earlier, you're giving away Blacklist International's comfort picks. If you're able to win, that is a huge, huge mental, you know, basically a mental win against these, this team, man. 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get, what, two kills? A total of three for Moba Zane, two kills in that specific dash. On top of the fact that they were able to get the turtle, that's a lot of economic advantage that BTK was able to have. Of course, they were also able to alleviate some of the pressure top lane as Fire Chicken got a little bit of a, you know, a breather up top. Now he's gonna be meaning the brunt of Blacklist International up top lane again. But oh my Venus, once he gets level four, now Blacklist International can group up. That yeah. ultimate is gonna just amplify the sieging potential of Blacklist International, if ever. I, I mean, sieging potential is looking all good here, but we need to talk about the scaling here because I think Blacklist International has got BTK yes. beat in that department, yeah. right? Absolutely, but I do want to put, I want to point out a fact that, look at Victor, he has tank emblem here. It Ooh. is very, very interesting as BTK, they're already going to go for the dive. Mm -hmm. Here they go, Moba Zane already immediately into the back to try and get off top of Haji, who manages to purify out of it in time. The Feather Airstrike is able to push the rest of the team back as Oheb walks forward, already popping the Zaman force to look to get Zia. It's just a little too late here. Oh My Venus keeps the team yeah. healthy and topped off, but Edward now going up against Victor. Victor actually winning out on this trade so far, but Edward, the longer this goes, the better yeah. it is for the Esmeralda. One thing you have to take note about Blacklist International, when they play, you always have to look at the minimap. And in fact, Blacklist International quietly was able to get a turret in the bottom lane. Well, this is because of the fact that Victor is a Cho, and Cho is not good at defending as much, specifically because he did have this tank emblem, which is interesting because as an XP laner, maybe that's arguable, but normally when you're a side laning Cho, you want that assassin emblem so that you can move faster around the map. You also, when you're, you only have the tank emblem, you're like more of a team player. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, coming over to this neutral objective here, Edward is just walking up. There's nothing much you can really do about the situation. Turtle already being slain by the SCB as he now getting punished for it. Feathered air strike in terms with the help of the Zaman Force. Edward continue to just give vision for the team. Are they not going to punish him? Yes, they do. The Numenon Blast, as well as the triple sweep, going to be taking him out. Fried chicken in. Really like what is going, but look at that. Another Ooh, fight wow. breaks out, and Oheb gets 
picked off. But I do want to talk about this, man. BTK, they've been playing extraordinarily well to their strengths, to their winning conditions. They know that in a brawl, a skirmish in the early stage. Okay, so it's worked out. They finally got the even side on the turrets. Five chicken getting tapped by the feathered airstrike. Can he get out of this situation? Is oh my Venus tops up Haji here. We see Shark moving up. He will yep. be able to defend this. Two things that BTK used first is the shotgun as well as the initiation coming of Shark up top lane to take out a kill and all him. That's amazing. And now BTK also put took advantage of the turtle buff. One thing that we always like, um, you know. Not notice when you're going for turtle place, you get that shield oh, that allows you to die. What? What? We didn't get to see the action. I just saw for a quick second they find it, but hold on, way of the dragon into the Numenor blast off oh. to Edward. It doesn't hit on Edward, but it does get on top of Oh My Venus. Really doesn't matter. Wrong target priority. Triple sweep taking out Oheb straight away. Zio using the black shoes to get out of the situation and now zones out the rest of the team. Yes, this is working out great as BTK playing for other win teams. We mentioned that Black Mister National, they have a way of just forcing your play, their play style onto you. Short moments, they can't go a little bit for Victor. Fights away in the dragon. He doesn't have enough damage to take out Edward as the Feathered Airstrike is going to drop his Oheb already with Zaman Force. Going to zone the rest of the team out. Haji losing a majority of his has deadly catch to disengage. They finally take out just Victor. Yeah, Blacklist International, very good pincer maneuver to punish Victor. Then again, you have to say BTK. Bane, yes, they find the kill. Ottawa, it's like Godlike coming in. Fried chicken coming in with Bennett's rage. There's on the rest of it. Oheb wants to turn this so badly. Drops Oh, Gets oh, taken what? out immediately. Oh my goodness, the damage Woo! from Beatrix. I love how they're playing this. BTK, they know exactly what to do in these fights. They don't win in the initial fight. They need to prolong it. They need to look for these one, one, you know, isolate their members even in the team fights. And so far, there's just so successful at doing so. And look at it, another pickoff coming in. Mm, yes, the chaos is working out well as Edward using the Fallen Star Moon to disengage from that fight. They're trying to defend this orange buff as much as they can as Wise collapses back. Victory here. Maybe they're looking for initiation here, but it's not looking like a very good angle. They back away, but that's what they want. The yep. It is. It's gonna get hit backwards here. Got his Bulwark to try and protect himself, but his Oheb already dropping the Zaman Force. That's four ultimates, four two. This is a great position for BTK to take away the Lord necessarily be there by BTK decide to back away now no. you can see oh no. actually oh be. actually I mean the feathered airstrike is coming up and Zero takes the black shoes to move on out of there both sides a little hesitant there yeah absolutely you can you can see actually for the side of BTK right the items are starting to make a difference for Blacklist International we mentioned the scaling and now it's coming into effect already objectives that we're talking about right the turtles and the lords they are best at re like for forming around the, those pits. And most importantly, the retakes are great. The retakes are oh. already finally gets hit by the oh. last hit of the sweep. What and they also oh. find all have at the same time. Oh. It's a 3v3 situation. Deadly catch to try and get them out of there. But Victor, he wants more. He's already hit them with a G. Could no. Can they catch it? The conceal is out. Shark lands on towards Wise. God. Wise gets taken out by Lilia. Immediately, the doom and gloom is more than enough. But Haji does not have the damage to finish off to get the trade kills. Boba Zane. Oh takes away goodness. purple in this not effective this tank emblem is but the reason why btk remains on top of it's working out blacklist international has to hold on to this aggression the snowball needs and at least at the very least, get them an advantage, yeah. get them an inhibitor turret. So this is not an enhanced lord because they t took down the lord before the 12 minute mark. In Blue fact, maybe two seconds before destroyed. that. But they still will try to push. This is unheard of. 7,000 gold lead against Blacklist. Look at how they're sieging as well. They're playing it so, so smart with White Chicken basically just using his abilities right now to go in. And they're splitting the map once again, isolating the targets while they go for the siege. Yep, and even without the minions, they are going to break open the bottom as well as top inhibitor getting tier 2 from the mid lane as well. White Chicken is going to continue his onslaught. Blacklist have to do something. Feathered Airstrike coming up. Zia in trouble. He manages to get out not even having to use his black shoes. BTK have a huge 9.1k overall gold swing. BTK, they have learned so much. And this is actually, this is not an understatement. BTK, they have literally evolved in a day, in two days, right before the playoffs. What is this? We didn't see this level of, of game back in his in the group stage. We saw them actually, some teams were actually able to just dominate them from the start. This is unheard of, especially going up against Blacklist, man. One of the keys to victory for Blacklist International is to watch out for pocket strategies or pocket picks. And BTK, my God. This is just maybe one of the 
tricks up their, you know, bag of tricks. With the saber, not only that, they put on Victor on a tank emblem show yeah, from the side lanes. It's out of this world, man. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, I mean, if you see this in your rank games, perhaps, or maybe if you see it in some of the amateur tournaments, you're going to laugh at it. Why are you picking the concussive blast or the tank emblem at least? And even tank up when it comes to itemization from a side laning show. I, I just can't believe it. You got to believe it here. I mean, Victor has been, you know, in terms of draft, usually he's not winning his lane, uh, and he has to kind of play for the team here, and I'm pretty sure even Victor himself is like, I'm sick of this. Give me something good. Give me a cho. I'll walk with the tank emblems, and I will make something happen. Haji getting hit for 50% oh of his HP, God. but don't worry. Oh my Venus, he's yeah. going to top him off. The siege is going to be good. However, this upcoming Lord, I want to see how BTK kind of handles the yeah. situation. At this point, it's time to talk about the mental pressure, man. For the side of BTK, they have no pressure. They're coming into this constant you know, if we lose, we're losing against Blacklist. There's everyone expects them to win, but if we win, we're going to break the code. And there you go, another end game. Oh, oh. Numenor blast land, and already on my Venus having to purify out of the situation to break all oh, the in some trouble here. Shock looking for an opportunity to get the last hit, but it's not going too well as the rest of the team now break them open. See ya. They are See ya. They find it. See ya has done it. They found the darkness, and now can they actually end? No, there isn't any minions just yet, and 27 more seconds until Lord. BTK disrespecting it, knowing that they have an 11k gold lead here. Zia, he still has the black shoes, walks on up, takes it over. Edward doesn't have the items to do anything just yet. They're looking for the end. They want to kick off to Haji. They're going to end it on top. BTK have done it. They made their statement. The West has caught up. That's game number one going over to BTK. Upsets after upsets after upsets.